Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. Today we've got another one of our Fallout 4 mod showcases, with a total of 5 new mods for you to choose from. Let's kick things off with Concealed Armors. This is a mod that aims to give you more control when it comes to your character's appearance. With the mod installed, pieces of armor will have a new category called Visibility. Visibility is handled like any other armor mod, so to activate it simply go to the armor workbench and you can mod the item like you normally would. It won't cost you any materials and it doesn't require any perks either. As of right now you can mod pretty much any piece of gear except helmets. So you have the chest, both legs and both arms of all of the armor categories, which includes leather, raider, metal, combat and synth. Helmets aren't included because when you equip them it removes your hair, making you appear bald. Hopefully the author can find a workaround for them in the future. Once the pieces have been modded to become invisible, they'll stay invisible even if a follower equips them. You can also remove the mod at any time to make them visible again. Another feature added by the mod is appearance downgrading, meaning you can change the visuals of a piece of armour from heavy to medium or medium to light, while keeping the same old stats. Letting you get the right look without having to sacrifice heavy armour just because you hate the way it looks. This is a great mod that follows the kind of rules you might see in an MMO, where you could toggle the visibility of certain pieces of armour on or off to maintain the perfect visuals for your character. It also works great alongside the Armorsmith Extended mod we covered a couple of weeks ago, which lets you wear any piece of armour over any piece of clothing. Unfortunately it was also prone to clipping, but if you use both together then you can easily fix it. The second mod we've got to today is Colour Map 4K with Locations. As you can see the mod adds a whole lot of colour as well as increasing the resolution of the world map. There's also a few new options for you to choose from when you first install the mod. You can choose between 2 and 4K resolutions as well as what you want to appear on the map. If you choose to show everything, the map will mark settlements, vaults and all of the other locations in the game, including those not normally seen on the world map. Alternatively, you can choose to have the same information that you'd see in the vanilla game, but with more colour and a higher resolution. All in all, this is a perfect example of a mod that gives you a great alternative to choose from, as well as extra options so you can tweak it to your liking. The next mod that caught our attention is Law Friendly Posters. The mod adds over 100 new posters for you to use as decoration throughout your settlement. They've all been individually added to the settlement crafting menu, so it's as simple as selecting them under the Law Friendly Posters section, found under the Wall Decorations menu, and placing them just like everything else. The mod author has taken most of the comics and magazines that are scattered through the game and converted their cover art to make them usable as posters, so you can be certain that everything added is completely law friendly, as everything is taken directly from the game's assets. All of the posters are 2K resolution and can really help give a personal touch to your settlement. Finishing off today's video we've got two mods from the Snap and Build series of mods. First let's take a look at the bunker. The Snap and Build mods plan to add a new section under your settlement crafting menu that includes all of the pieces that you'll ever need to create a specific type of building. So in this example, everything you need to make your very own concrete bunker has been added. The best part about how the new items have been added is that you can create your own bunker in any shape or size that you want and every single piece added by the mod snaps together perfectly, leaving no gaps or inconsistencies. The second snap and build mod is the capsule. The mod itself is built exactly the same way as the bunker, but this time you'll have all of the assets to make your own trailer. And as you can see, all of the pieces merge with each other perfectly, creating a streamlined look. With the creation kit coming out very soon, we can't wait to see just how many variants of building and settlement options modders are going to be able to choose from. But until then, if you're interested in your very own bunker or capsule, you'll find links to all of the mods shown in the video down below. That's all for this spotlight, and just before we wrap up the video, we'd like to thank WeMesh for sponsoring this episode. WeMesh is a video watching app that lets you share and watch videos in perfect sync with friends anywhere in the world at the exact same time. You just invite them, click play and it's done for you. You can even chat via voice or text while watching too. And to get it today you can find a link in the description below. That's all for now, be sure to check out g2a.com for some cheap games, and thanks for watching.